Freddy Msai is one of several party of the revolution members who attended a seminar here for the politicians from six African countries in China. The Molimu Julius Nyerere Leadership School, opened in February, is located in Kibaha near Dar es Salaam and was built with 40 million US dollars from the Communist Party of China. The services that are provided here are of high quality and beyond any doubt. That means this school has all the facilities and services that will allow any leader to participate in training for the betterment of our country. The leadership school was co-funded by the ruling parties of Tanzania, South Africa, Mozambique, Angola, Namibia and Zimbabwe. School officials say the classes provide a platform for China to enhance exchanges and build party-to-party -party diplomacy. The relationship between China and our school is in funding, such as buildings, and to run this school. But there is another one that I see. During the first training, they taught our students what is happening in China. They were taught what our colleague, China, did to bring about changes. China has been hosting training classes and exchanges in Africa for decades, as far back as the 1950s. But over the past decade, they have grown both in number and profile. Analyst Goodluck Ningo says the new school advances the Chinese Communist Party's model for ruling a country and also promotes the party's ideological allies. Tanzania is among the countries where liberation parties with the socialist wing ideology continue to remain in power. This basically helps China and other countries that still believe in the one-party system. So you see how China ensures that the leaders who come continue to believe in socialist politics. Ningo says the training will present problems for activists who want to see their countries become or remain more democratic. In politics, if there is no solid constitution that can ensure the majority rule, it will give the opportunity for things to be done by a few. A single party system is a possibility, and this is because we have seen many African countries where the president comes to power and removes other political parties, and the ruling party remains. Mase says he sees a bright future for Tanzanian politics due to the presence of the leadership school. But others believe the Chinese teachings will blunt the growth of democracy and only promote friction. Charles Kombe, for VOA News in Kibaha, Tanzania.